stand up eastern block type of boxer Kachar from Yugoslavia he won the championship in Passaro Italy just on the borders of Yugoslavia so opening round then and you'll have no trouble with identification with the stars and stripe chunks and of Bobby Chez from New Jersey former middleweight and an exciting one at that one loss on his career only to Mustafa Hamsho which he said uh, well caught him on a bad night we'll find out just prods away with the left hand Kachar I've seen him quite a few times including winning the championship in Moscow but he'll he'll know he's got a rough handful there in front of him in Bobby Chez not the easiest of fights uh, for common three Kachar and Chez five feet ten Kachez he doesn't really look it does he because uh, six foot two Kachar but he usually boxes his way through well but he's he's got a tough young guy he's only 24 Chez and uh, very popular on the American cable stations boxing tournaments so we'll find out whether he's got any ring rust a lot of domestic problems his father tragically committed suicide and he's been out for a, a year now and uh, becoming self-managed apparently but I have to say I've seen a bit of Chez in his early career he beat Robbie Sims I thought that was a very good result so midway through the first and I think that's the pattern there the stand-up typical amateur style really of Kachar oh he's already unloading those right hands he's getting himself well inside the guard there the American He's going to work to the body the whole time, Chez. He's just got to do that. He's going to bring that guard down. He's got a good chance of doing it too, but it's a long way to go. 15 rounds scheduled, remember. 12 stone, 7 pounds division. Well, he really does look, does look like the son of Uncle Sam there, doesn't he? He's, uh, very nationalistic at the moment the Americans with their fighters following of course the great wins in the last Olympic Games got a bad punch with the right hand the Yugoslavia and he peels that off well watch for that but Chez slips inside them reasonably well, not there that's what I said he can he can tag with that oh but he's got caught back that's the way to counter punch and I tell you, that's the best thing that could have happened start by the challenger. And a very popular fighter in America, you can imagine, with this style, the get stuck in Rocky type of stuff. But whether he can stay that 15 rounds if he has to now is a problem. Oop, but not the way he's keeping this up. What a good start. He's, uh, he's knocking a little bit of the desire, I think, out of Kachar had it his own way for so long 20 unbeaten fights 11 stopped for Yugoslav but Chez has had 28 wins and only the one loss oh he doubles him up well I mean I'm impressed with Bobby Chez, although he tends to fight maybe with his face a little bit, he gets caught. I like the way he moves in and bangs away to the body there to try and stamp a bit of authority in his punching. Plods away well with the left hand, though, the Yugoslav. He, he score, scores points with that. Three American judges and uh, referee there, Joey Curtis, also from Nevada. Oh, it's, I tell you, it's the, the writing's on the wall there for the underdog to become the new champion. 
and uh, he's recognized by the IBF as the challenger despite 12 months of inactivity but he stopped Murray Sutherland the Scot who emigrated to America and did very well here and that was a good result by Chez that's his last fight He puts him in, in clusters like that, Chez. That's, he's not always looking just for the one punch. Well, he's almost ignoring the Yugoslav's little jabs that are coming at him there. He's holding on a bit there. He's hurt all right, Kachar. And Joey Curtis having to wrestle them apart. He tends to do that. And it's a bit of a takeover by the American. Well, they've uh, obviously got the game plan right for Bobby Chez, his uh, corner man, by getting stuck in, get close in, take the play away a bit, end of the second. Yugoslav might be able to ride the storm a little bit. He's, uh, he's used to long-distance fights in a way. 15 rounds against Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, known as Eddie Gregory originally, won the championship in December 85 in Pasado. Sharp enough, I tell you. They must have given this chairs plenty of good sparring practice to shake that ring rust. Hooking well. And look to me as though the Yugoslav punching hard enough to stop this man in his tracks. He's got to do a bit more than that to wear him down. Oh well, a little bit of a forearm shove as well there when he missed that punch. Appealing to the referee for something, but uh, Curtis is not impressed. So he keeps flicking away the real nuisance jab there, Yugoslav, isn't he, the champion? But he's almost ignoring them now, Bobby Chez. And it's, uh, it's working up to a good fight now because Kachar at least is trying to come back in it. He knows he's a bit behind, in fact, quite a bit, really. Three knockdowns are not in effect. That means if either fighter goes down in one round, it's automatically not the uh, not the fight picture. We'll throw to a break at the moment. Uh, we can go back. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's go back to the fight action right now. But he he still takes the punch so well, the American, and comes back. Everything is predictable with the Yugoslav, isn't it? The left hand and then the right comes across. All automatic, more or less straight punches. Occasionally he flicks one to the body there, changes its direction. But Chez definitely looks the harder puncher. And Bobby Chez then, the American Bedectin, almost a stars and stripes flag there, isn't he? And the, the matching shoes. I think he's dazzling his opponents without throwing a punch. And he's ahead. But the defending champion from Yugoslavia then just trying to get back in the fight with very upright, very predictable. I remember him doing this in the Moscow Olympics. He defeated a pole in the final and he did it exactly like this. And I tell you, he's been well managed uh, because he's remained unbeaten. Boxed around the world in Hollywood, Rome, Paris, Miami, Chicago. But, uh, oh, yes, it's, it's Chez back again, isn't it? I was surprised. I thought maybe the year out and the troubles that he's had and losing uh, his father like that, 
quite uh, problems apparently he's had and uh, I wondered if it would affect Chaz but it doesn't appear to have done well, there's a better spell there by the Yugoslav but the moment you say that the challenge is back in again Well, the referee's almost giving him lessons there. He, he doesn't stop talking, Joey Curtis, in a fight. He really doesn't. Get a touch of the GBH of the ears these boxers can get. He really doesn't change this routine, Kachar. It's just that the left jag, the range finder, he's not doing much with the right hand at all, really. And he needs to, to keep this man off. It actually suits Bobby Chess to get the champion to open up punches with him. He warm for a low blow there, but uh, I think Bobby Chess had other things on his mind. Wasn't worried about that. So midway then through the fourth, we're coming up for the last half minute. It's almost as if he's clock watching Bobby Chess. He does it right at the end of the rounds there. There it is, a good, a really good uh, combination there. suspect there on the Yugoslav's face despite the encouragement from uh, manager trainer Angelo Dundee and quite know how to take care of Bobby Chez. He can't keep him off enough. That's the problem now. And he looks as though he's made the transition from middles to light heavies okay, the American. Came in at 12, four and three quarters. Oh, that's the way to work to the body. He's really bringing the champion's guard down with those. That's all the softening up process and then to the chin. Good round for Bobby Chez. Can he win the championship? Well, he got him down there. Is he going to see us? Is, is he going to take the count up or not? No, he's not calling that a count. I would have thought he could have done. He tripped over a left hook as well. But he's got plenty of time in the round to do this. And it looks like Bobby Chez can become the new champion. And Kachar, remember, unbeaten. He can't cope with this. It's never happened to him before. Not this constant pressure. And the referee almost mixed up with him there. And it's all over, quite right. And not before time, really. I think the Yugoslav will object to that because he wasn't down. But he just wasn't fighting back. Angelo Dunsey doesn't seem too pleased about that. But I can assure you that Bobby Ches does. A minute. 10 seconds of the fifth round, the new International Boxing Federation champion of the world in the light heavyweight division. And this ring is absolutely packed with Chappie Chez, his nickname supporters. He really is a popular fighter in America. And what a great comeback it's been for a man who's uh, really had some troubles in recent times. So that says it all, a big kiss on the cheek from the followers. So we can see the finish now in the replay. See the left hook there, he really, he couldn't control himself properly. He did well to stand up there, the Yugoslav. And again, it's a wonder he didn't go down for that, but he had no way, he just wasn't throwing punches back. And he wasn't winning the fight anyway. And I was surprised there that he didn't consider that account. I know that he, he fell and he's almost acknowledging as if to say, don't worry, you can't call that uh, a knockdown. But very often a referee will give a mandatory eight there punches to the body again now notice Kachar all he's trying to do is hang on like a limpet and it cannot be done and the referee now is quite right the gun shield comes flying out there from the champion it's just doing nothing and the referee as he goes back in any second now has no option but to get in there it's a good finish by Bobby Chez there it is he's trying to hold on Kachar but he's hitting with the other hand Chez and that's it the new champion